Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drea. If you're new here, hi, hello. I make faith, beauty, and lifestyle related content. So I really hope you consider subscribing. So really quickly, I just got back in from doing a few errands and I went to this event at um, the leasing office. They called it a blind date with a book. I thought that was so cute. So with each bag, it came with a little clue as to what the book is about. And my clue said, take care. And this little book that says, choose you, a guided self-care journal made just for you. And it's just so cute and thoughtful. And they also gave a bottle of rose, such a cute little self-care mm -hmm. gift. And then Jeremy also went down there and got something and he chose one with like a, what did your thing say? Uh, it was like, um, taste of food plus memory. Taste of food plus memories. And we got this cute cookbook. Everybody knows Tasty. They make those like 30 second videos. And so we'll definitely be tapping into this book. So yeah, I thought that was just so cute. I have a lot of updates since the last vlog. So I will show you guys those updates a little bit later in the vlog. But I wanted to kick off the vlog and just say hey and show y'all that cute gift that the leasing office had. Okay, see y'all later. I just got back from shopping for some wedding related attire for my bridal party and I'm back home now. I also stopped at Dollar Tree because I needed to pick up a card for my dad because tomorrow is Father's Day. But I wanted to show y'all what I got from Dollar Tree. I went in there with my sister and we picked up a few things for the house. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I have on my future Mrs. shirt, isn't it cute? I got it from Amazon for like $20. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I got. First things first is this gold basket. It was a dollar at Dollar Tree. I plan to use it on the counter for like fruits. We could probably throw a few oranges, an apple or so in here. But for right now, I'm just gonna throw these bananas in here. And they fit pretty well. It's just something to like have on the counter for the fruit. Um. I got these like magic eraser dupes. For right now, I got a small knife. I have a bigger knife, um, but I needed a smaller one for smaller items, so I got this. I also got a like dishwashing brush. I figured why not. I got a duster, you know, for dusting. Um, I got this, I guess, Kaboom, like, dupe. It says Super Foaming Oxygen Bathroom Cleaner, and it sprays blue and turns white. That sounds like Kaboom to me because I went to both Target and Walmart, and I couldn't find Kaboom. So, if you know that product, it's like you spray it on something, and it turns blue, and then it turns white when it's ready to white because it's done all the work, if you will. But it really just oxidizes. But either way, I wanted Kaboom, but I got the dupe for it. Some Fabuloso, come on, if you don't have Fabuloso in your house, what exactly are you doing? Um, I got some like, you know, foil tins, some paper cups. Um, hopefully I plan to cook a decent Sunday dinner or a decent dinner again soon. So I bought some stuff like pans in the meantime because a lot of our stuff is um, on the registry that we really want that's like super permanent. So we're really trying to tough it out until we get that stuff from the registry or at least see what people are gonna buy for us before we get it ourselves. And then this is the last bag. I got two clear bowls because sometimes I need to mix stuff and I had no bowl whatsoever to do that. So I have two clear bowls. They're plastic, but they look really, really good. So I got those. 
I got some measuring cups. They will come in handy. I actually needed these the other day, so. Um, I got like a brownie pan. May make some brownies, may make some casserole in here. I'm not sure, but picked it up either way. It was only a dollar. This like basting brush for like fish and um, like marinating stuff. I like to brush like the sauce onto the meat or whatever. I really like this. I had this at my parents' house, but I left it there. So pick this up for my current household. Um, one of those like fork frying things. <laughs> and another baking sheet. That's everything that I got from Dollar Tree. I definitely recommend shopping there though, for real, because they do have a lot of like home related stuff and it's only a dollar, especially if you're on a budget. Like I just don't see anything wrong with shopping at Dollar Tree. So definitely check them out. And I would say shop, go to one that's really good in your neighborhood or the better quality Dollar Tree because I've noticed that Dollar Trees in certain neighborhoods, they aren't as stocked or aren't as like, good as the ones that are in other neighborhoods so i would say go take some time to go to a good neighborhood to go to that dollar tree and you'll have a way better experience because the one i just went to was very good compared to the one that i'm used to going to so good morning at least good morning for me i don't know what time y'all are watching this but it is couch delivery day and last night I rolled out the rug that we bought I actually don't think I got a chance to show y'all the rug so this is what it looks like we got it from home goods for $80 um, and it looks probably smaller in this space but it's not meant to take up the entire living room space so so like I said the couch is being delivered today between 1 and 3 so I will keep you guys updated and posted on that I'm excited because I'm definitely ready for it to be here. We need another place to sit other than the dining room table. And this is the space for like the TV stand, the TV, the mirror. I love how this looks like. It just looks very like put together. You want me to just leave this one right here or you want me to just put it right here? Yeah, you can put it right here. Perfect. Hey you guys, so um, it's many, many hours later, but I wanted to come back and show you guys the couch. I love it so much. Excuse the little knickknacks here and there. I've been breaking the couch in for the past hour, just laying around watching YouTube videos. But yeah, the couch is very big, uh, but it does fit the area perfectly. It doesn't look like, it doesn't swallow the room, but it's definitely on the bigger side of things. If you can see that little gap right there, the two things, like they came separate. Um, they have to still be connected, but I'm gonna let Jeremy do that. And yeah, I just love it. It actually came with pillows, which I wasn't really expecting just because I planned to have like decorative pillows that I was gonna find myself, but that's a plus. I can play around with those and add little accent pillows in between. And then as you're looking at TV, this is what it looks like. I just did this ab exercise, don't mind that. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So if you didn't catch my previous vlogs, I did mention that the color scheme would be like a royal blue, grays, blacks, whites, golds, that type of thing. Whatever the decor, like the little tape, um, TV stand decor pieces, whatever I find and like home goods and stuff is what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I'm the next step is to pretty much start adding little pieces. I may put like a, um, a plant here, who knows. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted on that, but I just love this little area so much and then it just fits with The couch and everything it definitely feels like home. So I'll 
Hello, beautiful people. It's Saturday. Happy Saturday. I actually have quite a few things that I want to get done today and you guys will be going along with. So come, come. So for starters, I want to support my best friend and bridesmaid. Her name is Quincy. She has a vendor, kind of like a vendor market that she signed up for with her business, which is called Quinn Essentials. I have the Instagram down here so you guys can go and check her out and support but she makes uh resin based household items um and just resin based items in general like she makes keychains she makes beautiful beautiful coasters i'm gonna go and support her and go to her little stand and i really want to buy a keychain today so i'm really hoping that she still has some um but yeah i want to support her there and then i'm gonna go to Publix before i go there just so i can get her some flowers and congratulate her it's just a gesture that i want her want to make so that she can feel special <laughs> so i'll be going to Publix first then the market and then i know that there's a home goods or like a tj maxx that type of thing in the area so i also want to go there because now that the apartment it's kind of coming together as far as the living room. I want to start finding some decor pieces, maybe some wall art, just little pieces to put on the TV stand, in the kitchen, in the office, whatever. So that's the goal for today. Hopefully we have some fun in the process. I also um, worked out today, which is not in my norm. Um, I, even though I want that to be, it's not something that I'm always doing. Um, but I worked out, me and Jeremy ran around the apartment complex and I'm just trying to create healthy habits, habits that turn into like lifestyle changes. And so that's where I'm at right now with that. So hopefully that sticks, but we went for like a little Saturday run and then we went to the gym. So that was cute and my feet hurt really, really bad. <laughs> just in case you're wondering i'm using the jackie ina palette this is from the anastasia beverly hills collaboration she did and they have a lot of neutral skin tone shades for me so i always find myself using this palette every single day so it's like my everyday palette <laughs> It is so hot. I really hope I didn't make a mistake by wearing this outfit because it is kind of like sheer and kind of see-through and flowy, but it's long sleeves and then I got on jeans. So hopefully I will be okay. I got my windows tinted recently in the front. If you can see that sticker right there, it kind of shows you like, oh, please don't roll it down until after three days. I got it, I got it done and I got like a ceramic coating and it was supposed to make your car less hot. And I don't feel it being less hot. And I paid more for that, but maybe it takes a hotter day. I don't know, but just something I noticed. Um, I really want to put y'all, prop y'all up. I plan to buy something from Amazon because the previous thing that I had bought, I don't think it's going to work. Okay, let's, um, where am I going?
she's doing great things. The owner of Quintessentials. <laughs> Thank you. We're at Home Goods. My BFF Sydney decided to join. Gold, like just gold little accent pieces. So it's for the living room. We're doing um, royal blue, royal blue, gray, gold, white, black, just little okay. accents, and then stuff around the house like a cute vase. I heard a story about this brand and how like there's like a a slew of women who you see how like it's the font yes. and everything like they wait until the stuff arrives at TJ Maxx and like swarms it and try and buy it and stuff. It's called Ray Dunn and it's everywhere. Once you notice it, like you see it everywhere. It's never that deep. It's never that deep. good people so we are at ikea yet again the um the drawers for our desk is finally in stock we've been kind of like stocking the thank you we've been stocking the ikea website or at least the app just to see like when they'll come back in stock and i got a hunch to check the app and they're in stock so we're up here trying to hurry up and get them for they're out of stock so taking y'all along with this out 29 bin 15 oh yeah here they are well it said 15 oh I think that's for the Yeah, I think those are it. Yeah, the color white. Woohoo, we secured them. Finally. <laughs> We've been waiting a really long time, y'all. Um, like, weeks, probably. Okay, that's it. That was very quick. In real time, it took all of 10 minutes to do that. So now we're heading back home. Okay, so now that I've made it back home, I wanted to show y'all what I ended up getting from Home Goods from yesterday when me and Sydney went. So the first thing that I picked up were these wall shelves. Sydney actually saw these and then I was like, oh my gosh, I know exactly what I want to do with them. Um, but the picture kind of shows you what they look like. They were $14.99 each. What I originally planned in the store may not even happen. I'm thinking about put, putting them in the living room instead of the office, which was the original plan. So I'll let you guys know what I do with them when I finally put them up. Then I got this four piece storage set. So it's this one big basket. This one is a long basket and these two are smaller. Since they're navy blue, I picked them up and this long one could be like for remotes or whatever. These two small ones, I'm not sure. And of course this big basket could be used for something. I just got it because I knew I could put it to use and the fact that it's navy blue helps out a lot too with the living room decor. And lastly, I got this cute ball of confusion. I'm not sure which way it holds up, but the sticker is at the bottom, so I assume it it's it goes this way. But it kind of looks uneven, but I guess it's not supposed to be even since it's a um like a abstract type of thing. <laughs> so yeah, of course it's navy blue, so I had to pick it up. It'll tie in really well with the living room. This is where I put it so far. I'm not sure if it'll be the final place. 
but um, this is what it looks like. Also, these books may look familiar from one of my previous uploads. Um, these are the Alabaster Co. books. I did a video on these books, and if you haven't watched that video, please go and check it out. It's one of my very first like partnership videos with a company, so please support me by watching that video if you will, but I'm using these books as table, like coffee table books. I'm, I really don't know in what order I want to put them, but they're just stacked up here so far, and then I'll kind of just distribute them amongst my Okay, house. so hear me out. I am looking a hot mess right now, and I refuse to sabotage me, okay? So I am making some lemon pepper fish, homemade mashed potatoes, first time, let's see how this goes, and sauteed spinach for dinner. <laughs> just like my mom my mom cooks in really big batches because um, I have four other siblings and then my dad um, and then herself so she's used to really cooking for large amounts of people and she still does that to this day it's only me and Jeremy and I just cut up like seven to eight potatoes without thinking like oh you don't need that many but trial and error it is what it is hopefully it'll shrink down to a size that makes sense because right now it's looking like I definitely overdid it. This is my favorite thing to use on my fish. I didn't have it when I cooked the salmon and last, I think that was the, the first moving vlog, I'm not sure, but I didn't have it at the time. But I use this for a lot of my seafood, my tilapia, my salmon. Sometimes I put it in like sauteed shrimp and it's very, very good. It's supposed to be a marinade, but I don't necessarily marinate my seafood, or marinate my seafood, um, but you can do it with like chicken as well. It's the Laurie's brand, highly recommend, but this is like my secret ingredient to my baked tilapia. And I just like to baste it on the top and then use my other seasonings like Old Bay onion powder, and it gives it a really good taste. So, highly recommend. <music> of the food I just took the tilapia out this is the lemon pepper tilapia I kind of left it in there a little bit longer to give it like a blackened type of feel so yep then we got the garlic mashed potatoes I put some dried chives on top because I love chives in my mashed potatoes and I added some cheese as well so they have a little cheesy effect if you will I sauteed some spinach. You guys know spinach like wilts down to nothing, no matter how much you cook. So spinach, and then at the last minute, I decided to saute some shrimp as well, just to add something else to the meal. So those are simmering right now. So pretty much everything is done. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and if you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And also make sure you're subscribed and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!